Ah yes, I thought I'd give you a nice little intro there. Today is a big day. We are launching our transfer vehicle, our big, big vessel for the job. It's, well, it's going to take our crew from here to Duna and down to the base and then back from Duna back here. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, the crew isn't actually in it right here. Uh, this is just the vehicle. I launched the crew separately for reasons. That blows up a bit, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we're just pushing this thing on up to low orbit where it will be met by a uh, crew vehicle where the actual crew will launch from. Uh, yeah, this is, I believe, the first rendezvous of the mission. Right? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So that's a thing. Um, yeah, this was not my first try at doing this. As yeah, because things happened. Uh, like the first time, it just was really bad, and it was a bad launch, and the fairing got stuck in the the thing at the on the second stage. There. Oh, actually, actually, there's that's a good point. There it is. You can see it now. Yeah, I do know that those nose cones on those tanks on the side those are drop tanks those will drop when they're out of fuel uh, well more like separate or drop but I know that the nose cones are totally useless in just extra weight but they look cool and so they're there so be quiet I want them um what was I saying oh yeah the second stage did like a whole flippy out thing and it didn't do well and the fairing got stuck and it was ruined the whole brain reveal of the ship so I just cut that one out and the second one was a bit more of an interesting failure, you'll see that later actually, at the end. Uh, in the meantime, we have space to get to, so in fact I think we're actually already in space, we just have space to not fall out of, I guess would be a better way of putting that. So we're just pushing through with this thing, this is the same standard rocket I use I think for the most, yeah it is, alright. Pretty much the same, bigger fairing I guess, I think. I don't know, it's been a while. I can't remember. <laughs> but, yeah, here we are. So, extending the solar panels. Yeah. We even set up an action group for it, and then one of the solar panels just doesn't deploy. So, thanks. But, okay. It's fine. It still looks cool with the solar panels. That looks like a cool ship. It's not super big. It's probably not as big as a real one would be. But, they're Kerbals. They can stick it out. That's what they do. Uh, on the front there, that was on the front here. Here's a little time lapse in the middle. Uh, I just kind of couldn't do enough of these, so I did a lot of them. I'll talk through this one. Um, yeah, on the front of the ship there, that's actually the lander, the descent vehicle from Duna Orbit down to the base. Uh, it will do a soft landing. It does have a parachute for the last end of the trip, though. And the rest of it is just the transfer. It'll catch the... Uh, catch? Yeah, I can use the... Sure, I'll, <laughs> it'll catch the... Ascend vehicle from Duna with the astronauts. It of course will undock because it does need to push that back and then it will just take them back home. And so we're just, what is going on here? I'm orbiting. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just changing, okay. My, I think I'm pushing it into a higher, yeah, I'm pushing it into a higher orbit, just a more circular, yeah, just easier to, just to make it easier to run if you would. This is what the astronauts are going, or coming up in, you can see our guys in the bottom right. Uh, we have Val, Bill, and Bob, because um, we only have the three-man capsule, no Jeb, uh, I'm sorry if you're disappointed, but he's, you know, we figured, or we, I figured that he's gone on plenty of missions throughout, throughout the years, so he's okay with giving this one to Val, and the other two because they're the only engineers and um, scientists that, you know, are the cool ones anyway. The cool guys, the orange shirts. So this rocket, 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 yes. This rocket is very simple. It's just a quick two-stager, um, although it does need to actually be able to descend back down to the planet because this is the capsule that the astronauts are going to ride up from Kerbin into the transfer vehicle and then back down to Kerbin in at the very, very end of the whole thing. So this will dock with the transit vehicle, which has an, an extra docking port for it. Don't worry. I didn't mess up that bad, at least. Hopefully. Um, 
and yeah so it'll detach for the transit and then it'll have to rendezvous they'll have to rendezvous together again at the end of the mission which might be tricky because the transit vehicle will likely not have a ton of fuel and this well I know doesn't have a ton either but I hope combining the two I can take all the fuel out of the transit vehicle because it won't need any more at that point so it should be enough a deorbit burn from low turbine orbit does not require much you just have to get down to like really only 40 kilometers and then it, even if it takes a couple passes it's fine so we're just uh, rendezvousing really I left a lot of this stuff in I didn't cut much of this out so because I don't know I, I just to show you the process and some of the comments from the first videos have said that you like to see the whole process so I will leave in much of that I will cut out old things that you know you've seen in previous episodes or are you know just inevitable in seeing with playing this game but I, I, I try and make it keep a lot of the cool stuff because a lot of people have trouble with rendezvousing in this game it's just and it is tricky it, I mean it the first time I did it it took me so long but now I've, I've done it so many times I can do it fairly quickly if I don't screw up this time I don't know sometimes I get lazy and just launch when I just when I launch instead of actually waiting for the thing to get in the right spot and that can be bad for fuel because you can get put into a orbit that's like you know exactly on the other side of the planet and then you have to waste a ton of fuel changing your orbit or waste a ton of time uh, either way it's a pain so <laughs> just trying to get as close of an encounter as I can really fiddling with the node I probably should have cut this part out but oh well whoops too late now um so just going to do this maneuver to put myself closer yeah, this this uh this upper stage thing kind of reminds me of a Soyuz just in the way it looks. It's got the capsule and the two solar panels that kind of resemble the Soyuz ones, or a dragon actually. It kind of looks like a dragon as well. Think about it. Um, yeah, SpaceX landing on the barge. That was cool. You should watch that. Although you probably have. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Talking about actual space news. I don't usually do that, but I have time to this episode. There's kind of a lot of downtime here. Um, scooching in closer. Now we're getting nice and close. I can't actually read that number because of uh, the playback screen. It's just really low quality, but it's close. I can tell it's probably a one-digit number. I think it's a seven. I don't know. That's not the point. The point is, or it's a one. I really. <laughs> point is, we're gonna we're gonna dock soon. That's the point. Yeah, I don't think it was a seven. <laughs> so we're just, yeah, we're gonna meet in orbit later. This is just the classic docking process of sort of, you know, try and launch close if you can. I don't even know if I did that. And then, you know, fiddle around with the maneuver node to get a fairly close encounter. And then once you get to that encounter, kill relative velocity, burn directly at the target, and then repeat that several times until you kind of get nice and close. This ship here, of course, has RCS because docking RCS is kind of necessary. I have docked, I think, without RCS, um, but it's not fun. So <laughs> you really want it. Also, it can be nice for not wasting your main fuel. As you can see, my main fuel doesn't have a lot left, but it should have enough for a deorbit burn. I am slightly worried about having enough to both dock with this thing again at the end and then also do the deorbit. But between the RCS fuel, the actual fuel, between both of these two crafts that they'll have at the end of the mission, I'll, I should be able to. A nice, nice thumbnail there. Uh, that's where that comes from. Yeah, scatterer in the clouds. Oh my god, it's just the best. Um, so yeah, setting the docking node as a target. Oftentimes I forget to do that, but you can. So that's really helpful with the um, the nav ball, so you can actually change your prograde vector to be going in the right spot and accidentally closing with solar panels again and I, I don't know I screw up that kind of stuff all the time so now we're just scooching in for the the final rendezvous now now I'm actually retracting the solar panels so they don't hit something 
on the main craft because that would be bad. You don't want that to happen. I really wish the engineers could fix the solar panels. They can fix flat tires. Why can't they fix solar panels? Come on. I don't know. I should probably install a turbo inventory system or something. I don't know if that lets you do that, but it might. Anyway, point is, yeah, I do the solar panels on the main thing. And that one still isn't attached to the action group, but it's not out of the way enough. So just coming in. And I always do this because you always look at it from one perspective. And then you like turn the camera and realize you're like 12 feet behind it. And you're like, oh crap, the third dimension. No. Um, yeah, so now I'm trying to transfer the crew with this abysmally low frame rate that you can kind of see but can't because it's sped up four times. Uh, you can tell that it, I have to click like 8 million times to get it right. Uh, but, you know. So eventually I get them all those, and it's fine. So we just transfer the crew in, and now we just separate this thing out, and it's just, well, it just has to wait, really, for a while, but it just has to wait. Realistically, I don't think you'd leave a capsule in space for that long for the descent. You'd probably have a separate one. But, or maybe you'd take that one back and relaunch it or something. I don't know exactly how they do it. Ooh, nice shot of the turbine out the window there. That was nice. But for this game, it's totally fine to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we are ready for the transfer now. Just about. Uh, just repositioning this thing just to get out of the way of that so it doesn't, you know, get too close. Not that there's a significant chance it'll actually hit it, but, you know, playing it safe. cruising around extending the orbit out a bit giving it a bit more room to maneuver because it's always good yeah here's a tip it's always good to have things you want to rendezvous with in a you know a higher than 70 kilometer orbit because it is most efficient to launch into a 70 kilometer orbit or you know just above just above the atmosphere but if you want to rendezvous with it you don't have any room to maneuver underneath that orbit so you can't go faster than it you can't catch up to it which means you have to launch ahead of it essentially and it's always good to be able to at least have the option to maneuver underneath it so you can go faster because if you're on a lower orbit you'll move faster you'll be able to catch up to it if you're behind so i'd recommend trying to put it up if you can like 100 kilometers but you know 85 90 even 80 will do so yeah uh, another little time lapse in the middle here um yeah actually this is towards the end but you know i really do like these they're just really just drop my microphone off my face <laughs> um i really do like these they're really nice and just in a really nice peaceful moment oh, wow way to ruin it um yeah these are i don't know i just like doing them it's similar to the last one but oh well get over it <laughs> Yeah, and here's that launch I was talking about before. This is the second attempt. The one you actually saw was the third. Um, this will be the end, actually. I, I decided to leave it on this this time. So yeah, we're we're trying here to just do that same launch that you saw that after the uh, nice little intro cinematic thing. Um, yeah, the cinematic was a separate thing entirely. I, that's not even the actual launch. I just cut it together. Uh. So yeah, we're going up, and it's going all right, but, you know, then it, at some point, it doesn't go all right, and, but I kept recording because it's always fun to watch things fly everywhere, nice and gracefully and explosively, so, yeah, enjoy, and have a fantastic day.